Welcome back to my mini-series about how to use Life Control 2, the template for Lemur on the iPad to control Ableton Life. And I've already explained launch and play in the previous tutorials, and this time we're going to talk about the sequencer. So now if we just go to the sequencer, it says, please select a clip from the launch page. So we have to go back to launch. And then here at the bottom, we have to press select. And then quickly choose the clip that we want to see in the sequencer, that we want to work on. And then the sequencer is already opened. And here we first see zoom minus and plus, so you can zoom. Then if there's anything to scroll, you can scroll as well. And then let's just go to the parameters and actions. And here we can choose fold. And then all the notes are folded up as it works with live clips. And then here you can always set the note length. You can set it between 1 32nd, 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 4th, and half a note, and as well as the note velocity. Then here we have the root key that we can choose that mostly really just makes sense for sequencing melodies and chords, not so much if we have a beat as we do now. So we can choose the root key again and then choose the scale as well. So we've got major, minor, augmented, flat 5 and dimin diminished. And we can also turn on quick chord and that would create a chord. So for example, if I choose G now, then you can see it creates the chord for it and half a note long. We can also undo this. We can half the loop length, double the loop length. We can duplicate. Or undo it again. And we could clear everything as well. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, what doesn't seem to work is flip, compress, expand, strum and randomize steps. And here, of course, you can also choose to scale. Chromatic makes the most sense if it's a drum rack, especially if you just fold it up once you've set the ones that you want. We've got a help button again as well. And here you can see what clip is chosen, which is very helpful. <coughs> so now we could just add notes. No, we have to turn that off again. Undo that, turn that off, and just put on here. If we find that too long, we can go to parameters. And then when you choose the key here at the side, you can see 
the parameters. So in this case, velocity is chosen. So we could change the velocity or the duration. And this is what I would like to do right now. So now you see it's only an eighth note long. And we can also move it to start later. Undo this. And we can you can just randomize those settings as well. And yeah, then step sequence however you like, change with the settings here and the parameters. Um, and if you want to mute, And a whole like all the notes of one note, say G1 for example, we can just press left and right where the blue button is, and it's muted. And we can just go and launch, play. Okay, and um, we can also choose another clip. And now I've chosen a clip with a bass line. Go to Actions, we could fold it up again, for example. And... Um, or unfold it again, and I could add another node. Let's say we wanted an eighth long, maybe, and an E. We could just play that exclusively. Maybe we should make this shorter. And make this one longer. Yeah, and um, That's really all there is, and you can step sequence however you like. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the last one, which is going to be about the modulate layout. See you next time. Bye.